Of course, we have to talk about Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars. It's been an exciting couple of days for fans of the galaxy far, far away. As yesterday, the official poster for the upcoming Star Wars The Force Awakens hit the web. Also, Disney confirmed that the final Star Wars trailer will debut today. According to Disney, the trailer will premiere at halftime of Monday Night Football tonight. Mark, what do you think of the poster? And by any chance, are you excited for the trailer tonight? (laughs) I cannot wait to see this. I already love watching Monday night football so the fact that star wars is going to be on there it's the best union since doritos got taco bell pregnant that's how excited i am to see the star wars show tonight i am over the moon actually yesterday i was watching all the little teases that they released on espn like the 10 or 15 second ones where it's just like a dude does this and then you see this and then star wars tune in monday night football this is one of the big events of my year that may sound sad to you but i cannot wait to watch it and enjoy it with you kids here in the studio yeah, I mean, uh, tonight, uh, for those of you who don't know, tonight we are going to, a bunch of us are going to be sitting around here in the Collider Video Studios together watching Monday Night Football, and we're going to watch that trailer together, and we're going to record ourselves watching it. So we are going to shoot an actual hour live reaction to the trailer, which we will then put up later so you can see that. And plus, a little bit later tonight, we're shooting a special episode of Jedi Council just breaking down and talking about the trailer. That should be a lot of fun. All right, now going on to the poster that came out. I think you and I are going to fight. Oh, boy. Uh, But here's the thing. The poster came out, and I I will be honest with you. I do not think it's a bad poster. I do not hate the poster. But nor am I particularly moved by the poster or or at all excited about the poster. Oh, God, To me, the poster is just too crowded. It's just too busy. There's too much going on in the poster for me to be excited about it. No poster in Star Wars history has had more than nine featured characters on This has like 40% more than that. This is 14 featured characters. That is not counting the row of stormtroopers on the bottom. 14 characters. It's almost like to me, the people at Lucasfilm thought, and which is ridiculous because they have brilliant artists over there, but it's almost like that, you know, we can't figure out how to make this poster any good. Eh, F it, let's put everything on it. Let's put it all there, let's put it all on. And then they just regret that they didn't put Hux on. Now. There are some people who are mad that Luke isn't on the poster. I get why Luke's not on the poster. That this this poster is telling me that what we've been suspecting is probably two. They're gonna hold off on Luke until the third act. So I'm not upset that Luke's not on the poster. I think it would have been cool to have Luke on the poster. I'm cool with it. A lot of people also seem to be upset that it doesn't say episode seven on it. But most of the posters in Star Wars history haven't had the episodic number on it. So it, we shouldn't be surprised, and I don't really think it's even that bad of a thing that it's not there. Love, gotta say, I love the the artistic impression of what they do with Kylo Ren's lightsaber running parallel to Rey's staff. Uh-huh. I think that is beautiful. I think it's really well done. I don't think it's by accident that that happened. I just think, to me, it even confirms even more their brother and sister, but maybe I'm looking for, uh, into it a little <laughs> bit more. Don't know what I feel about another Death Star. Sorry, Star Killer. Um, uh, but whatever. Well, let's wait to see that in there. But yeah, the parallel of Kylo Ren and Ray. I think that's beautiful. I love the way that's done. But overall, feels like a Walmart poster to me. Oh my god! So I don't hate it, but there's nothing for me to get really excited about. Look, let's say today is not about the poster. Who cares about a poster? Even though it's Star, today is about <laughs> that damn trailer. It is the trailer, and I am hoping so badly that we get a glimpse of Luke. I won't blame them if they don't show us any Luke. I won't blame them. I'll understand. But I got to tell you, if, if even for a frame, if Luke comes on screen, I may effing piss myself. I may, you may literally see my jeans go dark. I'm going to tell you this: <laughs> if like... I only pee myself seeing Luke Skywalker, that's a win for everybody involved, because other things might go down as well in the bodily function department. Now, looking at this poster, I I love the poster. I think it's great. It felt like classic Star Wars to me, where they throw a lot of stuff on the poster, and you get to see all the cool things. Plus, we have like another seven hours till the trailer. So, looking at this poster poster is all we have right now. I love the way that Starkiller base, if that's what it is, looks. I just love that they put it on the poster because they knew we'd be talking about it. We don't know exactly yeah, what it is. Yeah. The the syncing up of the lightsaber to the staff was really neat. Some fan t- also tweeted that like if you look at Kylo Ren's lightsaber, it's very kind of jagged and it's a little like, it's almost like too powerful to be like that one stream whereas the one that Finn has is that it looks like that classic Skywalker classic, one where it's, yeah. like, it's a cleaner look to it And but my first thought, I'll be honest with you, I was walking to a health food store store with my girlfriend yesterday morning, saw the poster, and immediately said, paging Mr. Skywalker, 
Mr. <laughs> Skywalker, because uh, I love Luke. He's my boy, and I wanted to see him on the poster. I understand why he's not. I think that's a clear indication that you will not see him in the trailer tonight. Right. He's not on the poster. He ain't going to be in the trailer tonight. No, is I think my guess. you're right. I hate that I think you're right, but I, I, uh, right. I think you're right. But maybe. <laughs> All right, and Schnepp, you saw the poster. You're you're going to be watching the trailer with us tonight. Your thoughts right. on this whole thing? You guys are man child. <laughs> like, if you both pee, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> you weird dudes, freaking out about you're gonna, this trailer. You're gonna have a wet foot if you try to do that. All right. I know, right. I'm going to throw Ashley at you. Uh, Can somebody <clears throat> change Ellis? I'm I am excited. Maybe not as excited as these uh, young men with me. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very excited to see the trailer. I love the poster. I, now, is this a Drew Struzan poster? Or is this like a Drew Struzan esque poster? I don't think it's the Drew <laughs> Struzan. I'm not sure because I like this poster better than the Drew Struzan one that we got at Star Wars Celebration. I'll mm -hmm. say that it's a different style of art. The D23 one. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's the one. But uh, I don't think it's Struzan. But correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody. Yeah, I wouldn't argue um, the fact that it's too crowded. I think maybe you just didn't need all those stormtroopers at the bottom. But it didn't bother me. I was like, I. I saw your comments about like you think it's too crowded or it's, but I don't think it's a I don't think it's a horrible poster. It's definitely, it definitely feels like a Star Wars poster for sure. If you look at all the other ones, this oh, feels it's like definitely a in that continual, style. Continual, definitely in that style. You know, graduation yeah. to this kind of version. Um, very excited about the trailer for sure. I think you will see Luke Skywalker. I think he'll be the very last shot. That's my guess. <laughs> I'm gonna I think lose it's gonna be. Mind. You're gonna see him <laughs> cloak. It's gonna pan mind. up, and you know, I'm pretty sure that. Um, uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber is like he built it himself. And the other one is Luke's Skywalker. Luke Skywalker's original saber. Some people are even speculating it's Anakin's, uh, well, which would be which the same thing. Yeah, same, so yeah. it all right. that saber yes. is always so. Yes, it, I think we might get a more of an indication of that in the new trailer tonight, but. <laughs> I can't believe how giddy I am. Oh my god! But you think about the final that. shot that we might get with the trailer tonight. You have to follow up Chewie, we're home, which is no easy task. Oh. That scene showed us a classic ship, and it showed us two of our favorite characters of all time. So how do you top that? You either show Luke Skywalker or Princess Leia, who I think you will see tonight because she's in the poster. Or they could go a different direction. They could show us like your first image of Snoke up close, or whoever cool. what Peter Nyong'o's character right. is. So there's a lot of ways to go. I don't think you're getting Luke though. Oh my God. Okay, hold a second. You're talking about how do you top the final shot of the trailer over Chewie, we're home. How do you top it? Kylo Ren standing over some vanquished foe with his lightsaber out, and then you just a close up from behind him over his shoulder, and you see him turn his head, and behind him is Luke <laughs> effing Skywalker right. who pulls out his lightsaber. <laughs> Yeah! I will lose my mind! Uh, man, man child, my mind. I'm, I'm calling the man child alert center. <laughs> can you center. imagine that though? These are the guys who are about to have a heart attack over here. Oh my, I think I'm going to cry thinking about it. Can you imagine that? He's shot? about to cry Kyle about something that's and not happening. Luke Skywalker with a lightsaber? And then right that's... as he does it, you hear the Monday Night Football music. <laughs> 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 uh, kill me now. 